Hello, USS Nevada. Thank you for being here. Let me just take a look at your resume here. It says you served in World War One, served in World War Two, and survived two nuclear explosions. That's correct. The USS Nevada was an American battleship constructed in July 1914 for a hefty $5.8 million, just in time for World War One. Hey, United States, we need your help. So the U.S. sent some battleships over, one of them being the USS Nevada. The ship just sat in Ireland for three months doing absolutely nothing until the war ended. Ten years later, the USS Nevada is getting kind of old. Upgrade time. The new USS Nevada features eight brand new anti-air guns, a new aircraft catapult to help planes take off, tripod poles to replace the old basket ones. What does that mean? More stability, an additional 10,000 meters of range on the main guns, six more efficient water boilers to replace the 12 old ones. What do those do? They make steam. What needs steam? The steam turbines. What do those do? They generate thrust to move the boats. However, the enemies will use torpedoes, which are explosives that propel themselves into your ship and cause you to sink. Not something you want if you happen to be a battleship. Luckily, with the extra space we saved from the water boilers, we can make anti-torpedo bulges. I'm going to take over the world, said a guy with a small mustache. Count me in, said Japan. Count me out, said the United States, not entering the war yet. The USS Nevada was just sitting in Pearl Harbor with seven other battleships, until some Japanese airplanes appeared in the distance carrying torpedoes and bombs. Seven of the battleships were tied to the dock so they couldn't really move. The USS Nevada, however, was free to move anywhere it wanted. The other battleships were getting bombed and severely damaged, so the crew was like, alright, if we don't get out of here, we're gonna kick the bucket. So they started getting the ship moving. The Japanese were like, oh, well, look at that. Imagine if we sank that battleship while it was leaving and it blocked the entire exit. So many of the pilots started targeting the USS Nevada. The crew was scared the USS Nevada would sink, so they drove it into the beach, which prevented it from sinking. After a while, the attack was over. The USS Nevada was put back in the water and was sent to Washington where it got some repairs and upgrades. Little did they know these repairs could have helped the USS Nevada survive the atomic bomb blast coming up. Hey everyone, I'm joining the war now. By the time the United States joined the war, Germany had already taken over almost all of Europe, so the USS Nevada and some other battleships came over to help. First they went to the Normandy line, which just sat in the back firing artillery shells to support the infantry. The German artillery shot back 27 times. I missed 27 times. Then the USS Nevada went around to southern France to distract the Germans. The mission was a success, and the Allies started to take back France. Look over there, it's Japan who took over most of East Asia. Someone needed to stop them, so the United States sent the Navy to take some Japanese islands. The USS Nevada helped take back some small islands, and then headed to the island of Okinawa. During the battle there, a Japanese kamikaze plane crashed into the USS Nevada and, being the invincible battleship it is, it survived the kamikaze attack. After spending almost three months invading the small island of Okinawa, the Allies would now have to invade the main Japanese islands. However, the United States just finished building its two new atomic bombs, so they bombed Japan, resulting in their surrender. After six years of fighting, the Second World War was over, and the USS Nevada was getting really outdated, so they decided to use it for an experiment. Quiz time! What is the United States known for? A. Hot dogs and hamburgers. B. Statue of Liberty. C. Playing around with weapons of mass destruction. I think you know where this is going. One of the people who helped develop the first nuclear weapons, Louis Strauss, was thinking atomic bombs would annihilate battleships and make the entire navy completely useless. Just to be sure, let's try it out, shall we? We'll call it Operation Crossroads. We'll put 95 ships out at sea, spray paint the USS Nevada orange so we know where to target, and drop two atomic bombs on them. The first bomb, named Test Able, missed the target by a little bit and sunk only five ships. Then came bomb number two, Test Baker. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. Somehow this ship survived two nuclear tests, although afterwards it looked like a traffic cone, was extremely radioactive and severely damaged. Fortunately, no one was on the ships during the atomic bomb tests. At least as far as we know. Hey, are you guys still playing hide and seek? Anyway, the USS Nevada was towed to Pearl Harbor, where the battleship was examined. They decided the ship was damaged beyond repair, so the USS Nevada was towed to the sea and used as target practice by three other naval vessels. Somehow, none of their guns could sink the battleship, so they shot a torpedo at it and finally, the invincible battleship sunk. 